Hey everyone, it's Norm. It is November 13th, 2017, and this is our update on the persecuted church around the world. This from UCA News in the Philippines. Suspected supporters of an Islamic, Islamist militant group desecrated a Catholic chapel in the southern Philippine region of Mindanao in the evening of November 10th. Authorities said they are still looking into the identities of the perpetrators who tried to set fire to the chapel in the village of Labo Labo in Sharif Aguac town. Police said they are considering reports that supporters of the Bangsamoro Islamic Freedom Fighters were behind the incident. In June this year, BIFF gunmen also desecrated a chapel in the neighborhood, neighboring province of North Cotabato. Witnesses say said the still unidentified men poured gasoline on religious images and icons on the altar of the San Isidro de Labrador Chapel about 9 in the evening. Some quote-unquote uh, antique religious icons were damaged by fire, the Philippine Star reported. Oblate Father Elicio Mercado Jr., who formerly served at the chapel during his early years as a priest, condemned the desecration. He said the attack was, quote, the work of a few extremists that need to be rooted out, unquote. The priest recalled that even during the height of the Moro Rebellion in the 1970s, Muslim rebels respected places of worship in the area. Town official Anwar Mblawa said the incident was intended to, quote, disrupt the harmoni harmonious relationship between Muslims and Christians, unquote, in the municipality. So... Um, you know, we usually just think of, of stuff like this in the Middle East. We only think of Islamic um, persecution in in places like Iraq and Pakistan and Afghanistan, but it's all over the place. The Philippines, um, Islam is becoming very big in, in France. It's becoming a very large community in Great Britain. Parts of the U.S. is wh where we have very large... Uh, Populate, populous uh, centers of uh, Islamic people, uh, Dearborn, Michigan, places like that. So it's moving around and we're seeing more and more of uh, things like this where um, Islamic, I don't even want to say Islamic extremists, ba basically Islamic fundamentalists, people who believe the Quran and take it at what it says, are doing more and more things like this. So... Um, Again, leaving out the fact that it's Catholic and most of us uh, don't view Catholic as Christian. They're different because of their view of soteriology. Again, Muslims don't understand the difference there, so uh, they're attacking the name of Christ, not, not uh, proper theology. So um, let's keep praying for these people here in the Philippines and pray for all of our persecuted brothers and sisters around the world. And as always, preach the gospel at all times. Use words. They're necessary. Until tomorrow, Soli Deo Gloria.